Hey there guys, what's going on? So if you've been watching my channel today, you'll know that I've already been talking about a new single that just hit those big and spacious internet waves. That of course was The National and their new song Demons, but now I want to completely switch gears here and talk about something else that unveiled itself in a wave of blistering heat and sound and titanic sized guitars. Maybe not quite as naturally familiar as The National, but once you get a load of this clip, well, you'll understand why the video was a necessity. I am of course talking about the band Queens of the Stone Age and their new single My God is the Sun, which will be appearing on their first release in several years called Like Clockwork, which is due out in the midst of the summertime on June 4th. It's the official follow-up to 2007's Era Vulgaris, and follows a fair bit of downtime that incorporated prior album reissues, an extended hiatus, and several side projects on the part of band members. However, Josh Homme and his cohorts have officially returned in force here with a single that definitely doesn't show any rust across the span of six relatively quiet years. In fact, there isn't anything at all quiet going on here. It certainly arrived in a wave of odd messages and mystery, but for now all that gets placed aside in favor of what matters most to the discerning mind, and that is the sweet and heady new sound of a promisingly fresh debuted off the line studio single. We have that right here with My God is the Sun, and as it usually tends to go here in my videos, I think it's time to give it a review. Let's begin. Where the National brought a plotting stability into the listening universe today, My God is the Sun crushes any notion of that with a rhythmic percussion that gets practically stampeded over by the crazed dash of madly bruising and brawling guitar and bass mix. Meanwhile, Josh Homme's lead vocal hums, howls, and spits over the top of this mountain-high amp-stacked overdrive, ultimately utilizing his blues-bled, hard-rock-fed mutinous croon to its fullest extent. My God is the Sun aches with a hard-charging intent that feels as ominous as the cold hand of doom itself, like the sun descending into mythological thunderstorms. If anything, I feel that even though there's a great difference between these two singles I chose to profile today, there's also a running theme in that the band is also not really changing too much in the way they go about things. Growth is often a great and necessary thing, of course, but after this hiatus, it's brilliant to see that same gargantuan riffage and power vocals that are not only present on their other releases, but was also prominent on side projects like Hami's supergroup, Them Crooked Vultures. It was there, but it needed the time to be refreshed and creative again between these group of individuals. My God is the Sun is not only refreshed, it's launched with a righteous bellow into the spotlight this week. And while I wouldn't quite say this is immediately going to be one of their best songs or some kind of master return to something, I do think that it's a thrilling preview that speaks of much to come not only for Queens of the Stone Age, but also for their fans eagerly anticipating what this full record is going to be like. The collaborators are certainly not what you might expect for something in this genre, including Jake Shears of the Scissor Sisters and... Elton John, strangely enough, but if it's more like this particular formula, something tells me that there's nothing to worry about. My God is the Sun is absolutely superb and is a damn fine way to close off my coverage of some new and very exciting singles this week. So those are just a few of my thoughts on the new Queens of the Stone Age single, My God is the Sun, and as I mentioned, the full album, Like Clockwork, is due out in full on June 4th of 2013. Until today, this was certainly not something I would have had as highly anticipated on my list, but after the intrigue of what this one has to offer, I definitely consider my opinion changed. Especially if you're a fan of the genre, go ahead and check the unholy fire of this one out immediately. And of course, I will link to that in the bottom, along with the description. And as always, I hope you enjoyed this particular video. The music world definitely delivered in an unexpected fashion today, and there's nothing quite like that little push to remind you to get your retro newsboy hat on, your metaphorical notebook out, and to take some musical notes as they roll hot off the internet presses. Happy listening, everybody, and until next time, I will see you all very, very soon.